Well, hello again, everyone. It is yours truly, the Whiskey Coach, back at it again for yet another review. Tonight's review, guys, I couldn't wait any longer. Um, by the way, I'm leaving this TV on in the background to see if it doesn't increase uh, and improve my lighting situation just a hair. So I'm going to do this with a little bit of experiment and see how this turns out. It's, it's a little bright at times, but I think overall it may actually help with your visibility. Got a lot of requests to do this. I really wanted to finish off the Northern Border Collection uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, other stuff I wanted to do, but I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys. And after all, this is about you guys um, more than it really is me. So with no further ado, it's the big dog. Canadian Club, 40-year-old. We talked the other night. The Weiser's 35 to that point was the oldest whiskey that this palate had ever tasted. No longer here in a few moments. The Canadian Club 40 year old whiskey, uh, a Canadian only release. Um, you know, it's traditional corn and rye mash bill that, that uh, Canadian Club folks are known for. Um, this stuff was put back in, uh, into wood back in 1977, longer than. Uh, Yours truly has been walking the face of the earth. So, I'm very excited to try this, to say the least. Um, they did a beautiful job of packaging and I think kind of marketing this bottle. I want to talk to you a little bit about it. First of all, like I said, there's your box. Kind of nice, very stately looking. Gives you a nice little story on the back that we won't dive into too much because, you know, why do that? Uh, they kind of stole from their, their Canadian friends at Crown Royal and kind of put this into a little bit of a, a, of a bag. But once you open up this, this bag, you are really treated to an absolutely stunning presentation. Um, look at that. I mean, it's a squat, thick. Look at the size of the cork on that. It's got beautiful French and English on it. It's got the big gold 40 on the bottom. On the back, it's got the little kind of the coat of arms. Big, thick base. Just an absolutely stunning, stunning bottle, um, in my opinion. Again, today I'll be sampling a little bit of a, a sample that was placed in a Boston round for me some time ago. Uh, again, I can verify the... Uh, uh, the origins of this whiskey, so I'm not concerned about authenticity. Now, that's perfect, right about half. I didn't want to didn't want to finish the whole sample. The one thing that jumps out at me when I look at this pour, it's a 40 year old whiskey, and it is light. I mean, it is very light. I mean, even in comparison to other Canadian whiskeys, um, you know, it, it fractions of the age, it's a very, very light whiskey. So I'm very interested in why that, really why that is. Um, we'll, we'll taste it for what it is, but that's just something, the first thing that really jumped out at me is the color. To me, that looks like Irish whiskey. Golden... No real copper hues, nothing brown in it. I mean, it's it looks like maybe an apple juice, maybe even lighter. On the nose, it is beautiful. This is, by the way, again, guys, first time tasting this uh, with you all. It talks about tasting this whiskey with a, you know, a special occasion, but hell... Drinking with you guys, we'll call that a special occasion, right? Hope you have a glass with you watching this, by the way. Hopefully it'll make, a, make your experience a little more enjoyable drinking with me. I figured, you know what? It's January 1st, 2018. Want to uh, celebrate that with a little bit of a bang. Wow. Fruity. Very fruity. Nutty. Plums brightness it's bright it's zesty there isn't any of that 
Certainly none of that leathery tannin that you'd get with an older bourbon or, or, or a peatiness of a scotch. I mean, it's, just, it's lively for 40 years old. Pardon me for taking my time a little bit with this one. It's not every day I taste a 40-year-old whiskey. I can't wait anymore, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> That's different. It gives you an initial bite, which I'm surprised by. By the way, 45% alcohol, <clears throat> 90 proof. Gives you a little more bite than I expected. I mean, they did they dialed up a little bit from original Canadian Club, but it's certainly not harsh. Um, but it's definitely got a little bit of a bite. It then gives you initial burst of sweetness. Butterscotch. Like a like a uh, like a like a cheesecake, maybe almost. Uh, I'm getting like uh, deep vanilla or, or like a, almost like a uh, vanilla puree or a um, vanilla extract, I guess. On the on the on the finish after you swallow it. There's a lot going on. I get the age, but I get the age in complexity, not oakiness. Not tannins, not not uh, nothing unpleasant. I get the age completely, uh, but through all pleasant experiences, if that makes any sense. It doesn't feel like a whiskey that's gone past its prime, um, which is very tough to do, even in Canadian whiskey at 40 years old, just because you're in oak for so, so long. You'd be hard pressed not to have a little bit of a stale whiskey on your hands, and this is not that. It tastes like corn whiskey. It's almost—I don't mean this to be derogatory—but it almost tastes like a, a mellow corn. If you've ever had mellow corn, a little bit of a, a far superior, uh, uh, deeper, richer experience. But a little bit—it reminds me a little bit of a, of, of a mellow corn. It doesn't, I mean, it is, the backbone of it is Canadian whiskey, but hmm. it's an experience, a little bit of singe, a little bit of fizzle almost on the lips. The front part of the tongue. Again, a little bit more bite than I would expect for a 45% alcohol Canadian spirit. It doesn't taste like Weiser's 35, but I'll, I compare it to Weiser's 35 in that I want to come back to this over and over again. And I feel like if and when I do, it will be different every time I try it. Price-wise, by the way, $249 Canadian. Not something you're going to want to, you know, pour into uh, a uh, Canadian club <laughs> or a cranberry juice or anything of that sort. Something you do want to definitely experience with someone that appreciates fine whiskeys. Or, like I said, for a special occasion. Beautiful whiskey. Um, I, am, I am very intrigued by this. I want to try it more. Um, my initial... First time tasting this whiskey coach score will be an 8.3. Very, very nice. Um, I just wasn't, I guess I wasn't quite blown away or wowed um, necessarily.
but a very, very, very good whiskey. Um, again, I want to try it again. That's the beautiful thing about whiskeys is each time you try it, it can be different. Matter of fact, it is different. So I really want to try this again, but again, I, I, I do these uh, reviews and I do them once and I, I tell you what I think about them one time and one time only. Beautiful whiskey, very unique, uh, very different. So cool that I just drink, drink something that's been around longer than I have. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it with me, guys. Thank you so much, as always. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. And glasses up.